Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, we finished separate ways. Now, before we uh, pack this game up for another, I don't know, X amount of years, I suppose, uh, we have one last side story to complete. This is actually a non-canon story, but it depicts my favorite version of Ada. So, let's go into Assignment Ada. She looks so freaking cool there. And one second, my apparently my headphones aren't set up correctly. There we go. Now I can hear the game. That's better. Much better. But it's still too loud. Ah. Eh whatever anyway this is a quite a short little side story uh we have to collect five last plaga samples and escape it's interesting kind of has a stealthy vibe to it although not much stealth going on here quite puzzly as well with the weapons and equipment that you get uh, you have to manage items and resources pretty tightly at least from what i can remember anyway let's go but I'm sure it'll be fine. Have you retrieved the sample? Not yet. Some kind of trouble? Sadler. Who knows? Ah. Your extraction chopper will pick you up at the rendezvous point as planned. I'll be there. <laughs> Loves to know more about, um, the extraction chopper and the pilots and the, the whole setup that Wesker's got going on, but I guess, well, we never really got to see any of that, did we? Anyway, mission objective, collect five Plaga samples. Now head towards the rendezvous point. Okay, seems pretty self-explanatory. Now, I love her outfit here. I always have. Like, I'm going to say it a thousand times. This is my favorite Ada design ever absolutely love it let's look in the bag there are no uh, extra weapons we can buy there is no upgradable weapons nothing like that this is just a one and done son so we start off with a grenade some health and some ammo notice the weapons that we have we don't have a shotgun we literally don't really have much in the way of close range defense or crowd control which is an issue i mean i guess we have the tmp which we can kind of use for crowd control but yeah not really uh anyway let's go Ooh, hello sir can see a little head there that needs to be popped Quite important to do that as well because there's two guys there and they're kind of a pain in the ass. Let's go, Ada. Let's go. What have we got going on here? Hello. What's going on? A little bit of a meeting. Oh, let's break up your meeting. Looks like they're doing something dodgy together, but we're not going to think about that too much. Got ourselves a nice herb. And of course, Ada still has her knife as well, which is quite useful. Uh, we don't have the gun that we had in the um, separate ways. We have the Punisher this time, not the Blacktail. Uh, I believe we had the Blacktail, anyway. But it is pretty well upgraded. Um, so we can shoot multiple enemies at once, which is quite useful here. Um, the TMP, I think, is exactly the same. And we have the rifle. Which is, yeah, also exactly the same, I believe. So, you know, that's the gear we're working with. Hello, come on. Let's get this done. Form an orderly queue. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Ah, that felt better, didn't it? Boom. Now, this game actually starts off reasonably rough. And the reason it starts off reasonably rough is, I would say, pretty much due to a lack of a shotgun. But we will adapt and survive because that is what we do. Ammo shouldn't be much of a problem. Oh, God. Oh, I hate these guys. I really do. Now, you can see that our health isn't that great either. We only have like half a health bar, which is fine. It is what it is. Okay, not bad. 
Oh, you can just run past everything and just, uh, you know, cheese through all the doors and speed run to the end. You can do that, but eh, it's not really my preferred way of playing things, you know. As always, I like to stand and fight. I always do. You know, I always think, uh, what's the point in uh, playing a racing game, for example, but you remove all the opponents? It's not, it's not really a racing game then, is it? Okay, so this area starts off pretty pretty slack. Not much going on in here at all, is there? But that's only until we get into the meat and the potatoes of this area. Hey guys, what's going on? Come to mama. Now, there's a couple of snipers up here which are really annoying. So we really want to get rid of them as quick as we can. Come on, gentlemen. Come to mama. That's it. Whoop. Oh, we're going to kill these guys on this ladder. The reason we're going to kill these guys on this ladder is because they actually take a good amount of damage from this. And we're going to be saving ammo. Which, to start off with, is reasonably important. You only have to knock them off twice as well. I'm pretty sure it's always consistently twice, I think. Something like that. Might depend how high they are up the ladder. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on the science. Come on, dude. While we're young. Honestly. There you go. Was that so hard? Right, let's put a fresh magazine in there. Uh, everything else is popping with a fresh mag. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get maxed out on our health this run. Uh, I can't remember. I'm guessing there probably is enough herbs to max out on our health, maybe. Uh, not really sure. Right, anyway, let's continue, shall we? <sighs> Hello, JJ. Nice to see you, buddy. Nice to see ya. Take out his drones, too. Keep him at bay. He's a bit of a problematic person. Aren't you, JJ? Uh, this could be problematic. Yep, I let him slip in. Ooh, dear. I really did let him slip in and get the drop on me there. That's okay. We've done a decent amount of damage to him. Uh, ooh. Might actually... You know what? Let's take that. All right, let's fall back. No harm in falling back. And this will give us a little bit of an opportunity to save some of our ammo as well. So, that's cool. Right, come on, gentlemen. Come on. It's going to take them a little while to get their asses over here. Yeah, completely blindsided by that guy. Uh, oh, and it was going so well. I mean, questionably well, but you know. Start as you mean to go on. Come on, my friend. That's it. I can't remember if JJ can come over here. I want to say he can. But, oh, he can. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Well, fine. We'll just get rid of him with a grenade then. Oh, hey, guys. Hello. Hi. Yo. Nice to meet ya. You know, we've got a couple of these grenades weighing us down. You know. Might as well get rid of some of them. Get rid of some of this dead weight. There we go. That'll do. Didn't kill you, though, did it? Nothing ever kills you. You are surprisingly resistant. And I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Alright, what have we got going on here? You know, we can finish these guys with the black tail. And punch through multiple targets with this thing. Like that. Now, I believe every extra body the bullet passes through does less damage. So, definitely worth keeping that in mind. Anyway, let's go harvest the area for equipment and ammunition. Uh, TMP ammo, I mean, I guess. Why not, I suppose. Now, I believe up here there was a med spray. Did we pick the med spray up? 
the first aid spray? I can't remember. Oh, we didn't. Okay. That's fine. So, goodies, goodies. There's some more goodies over there. Some more rifle ammo. Rifle is, is a pretty... <sighs> yeah, I mean, it has its uses in this, this part of the game, but it's... Yeah, um, um, most of your engagements are pretty pretty close, so you're going to be relying on the TMP. I think the reason they didn't include a shotgun in this mode is it would have just made it just probably too easy. Um, because the fact that you have very little crowd control available to you, is, uh, I think, is what makes this mode the hardest. Uh, couple that with the fact that Ada really isn't um, as strong as Leon at all. She takes significantly more damage. Uh, but, you know, that's usually the way Resident Evil handles things. Uh, the female characters are generally uh, a little bit weaker, but uh, she moves faster, so there's that. Okay, right, let's go. Let's move on, shall we? Gentlemen? There are no gentlemen here. No gentlemen callers. I am disappointed. Okay, whatever. All right, let's get ourselves one of these lovely herb concoctions. Like so. Health is a bit of a mixed bag in this game. Uh, on this mode, I should say, you get a reasonable amount of it. A very reasonable amount of it. That's where you are. Ah, Yeah, I haven't played this game, uh, this mode for a little while now. So I have forgotten a lot of my strategies, but it's okay. I played it, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, now, what to do with you? Should we break out the TMP? Yeah. There we go. Lovely. I remember this, uh, when I was playing this, it gave me a hell of a lot of trouble. Um... I'm not really sure why, though. I was pretty tired at the time I was playing. It was probably that. Shall I use that excuse? Is that a worthy excuse to use? Yeah, let's go with that. I was tired. I actually think I was, but I can't remember. But yeah, uh, I had a significant amount of trouble when I was trying to play this uh, on my Switch. Uh, I guess I could, you know, make up an excuse because I was playing the Switch version, but the Switch version of this game is actually not bad. It's better than it was on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Um, I think its frame rate is a little bit more consistent, and it's definitely better than the um, port that we got for... Well, yeah, the port on the 360 and PlayStation 3, which... In my opinion, really wasn't that good. It had loads of frame rate issues and whatnot. Now, if you was playing this on a PlayStation 4 Pro or an Xbox One X, then the port was absolutely fine. Perfect frame rate and all that lot. But yeah, those base consoles, they really, really struggled with a lot of games. God damn it. Now, I don't think those systems should have struggled with this at all, but there we go. Yeah. I literally let you have a free hit there, which was not great. Rifle will take these heads off in one shot, I'm pretty sure. But at the moment, rifle ammo is a little bit special. So we're going to be holding on to that. I love the music here. So, like, high octane. Nice bit of tempo to it. I guess maybe, um, maybe we do get enough herbs to increase our health to max. Yeah, because we're getting these yellow herbs left, right, and center here. I think, personally, it takes an obscene amount of them. to uh, get you as healthy as possible. But, you know, that's just... I think that's just because I'm so... <laughs> I've just done nothing. It feels like I've done nothing but collect yellow herbs for the last two months. 
Have we been playing this two months? Something like that. Right, I think this is like a grenade or something. It is. Yep. Grenades are treasure in this version because there are no treasure. There's no money in this version. I don't think there's any unlocks either. I think this mode is purely for fun. For funsies. Which is fine. There's no, there's no harm in that. Oh, you'd have to be, wouldn't you? He's not a shower, but he's a grower. Come on, buddy. Take a little bit off the top. Oh, you douchebag. Come on. There we go. That's not a bad way of dealing with him, I suppose. Uh, no. You do not throw your axe at me, dude. No, thank you. Ada does not want any of your flying axes. Okay. Ammo is doing okay. It's not bad. Now, I believe... If memory serves, there's a little git round here. With some TNT. Oh, come on. There he is. Not even going to bother aiming for his TNT bout. That's fine. We good? We good. I want to act in a little bit of haste to try and clear up all this ammo that's been dropped. It'd be rather tragic to uh, lose out on it now, wouldn't it? Now, we don't want to go up the main way there. Come on. Ow. Bloody bastard with his bow gun. Okay. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. Definitely not the most efficient use of ammo, but hey. Come on, grab that before it disappears. Thank you. Now, was there actually any enemies down here? No, it doesn't look like it. That's fine. That's cool. But we do have a nice little juicy red herb here. And we don't really want to leave that papa behind. Not really. Um, now. Oh. Yes. Starting to get... A little bit crowded in this case again. That's uh, another thing that really kind of holds you back a little bit with this mode. Uh, case management is very important. Because we're going to have to start picking up uh, samples. And each sample takes up two slots. Now, as soon as we get down here, enemies are going to appear behind us. Come on. Here they come. I can hear another one. Not sure where he is. Oh, there he is. Hello. You naughty little sausage, you. Look at you. Bold as brass. You know what? Let's get rid of uh, some baggage. That'll do. All right. That'll work. That will work, sunshine. That will work. Ah, hello, Sir. Well, he was a happy man, wasn't he? Jamie died. He died doing what he loved, though. So, you know, who's really winning at life? Would you rather have a long, deeply unfulfilling, miserable existence? Or would you like to die doing what you love? Hmm. These are questions that will probably never be answered. Anywho. Nice to actually get a look up here. They didn't really, you know, spend a lot of the rendering budget um, doing anything interesting with this, but hey, you know. That poor little GameCube only had so many clock cycles. Uh, right, let's load up. And infiltrate. Now, this is where the meat and potatoes of this mode really starts. 
So it's fairly open-ended from what I can remember. You really can just like go and do whatever bit you want in whatever order you want. Uh, which is actually quite cool. Let's check out the map. Yeah, let's do this bit first, I suppose. Enemies will will spawn once you complete an objective. Oh, God. That was a really bad... A really bad whiff there. But that's okay. Probably going to be seeing more of that. No running, gentlemen. No running. Please don't have a head burster. Nah, you're good. You're one of the good ones. Excellent. Good lad. Okay. Sounds like we've got a few gentlemen in here. That's okay. Yeah. I guess. We can just get their attention straight away. Because these guys are rather painful. No headbursters here. Good. You can always tell when those guys are dead. Because um, for some reason, their electric tasing sticks instantly stop working. Don't question it. Ours is not to reason why. Or question why, I should say. Oh. oh I fucking hate this. There we go. Do we want to smoke? No, we don't need to smoke a herb. Okay. Okay. Now, you don't have to fight any regenerators or anything like that, from what I can remember. It's just standard enemies. Which is nice. Now, we are going to get attacked straight away. So we need to be a little bit careful. Put a fresh magazine in there. What have we got coming? That's th I count three. Well, if it's three, you know, we can have a surprise ready for them. Surprise, motherfucker. Well, it didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to, but... Killed one of them. I mean... That's fine. Ah, there you are. You died from one bullet. Even though I gave you three. But I say I gave you three. I gave two to the floor underneath you. Right, so we have a sample. And you can see how much space these things take up. Yeah, it's not good. And we need more of them. I mean, technically what you could do is you could run around and kill all the enemies, I suppose. And then run around and pick up all of the stuff after. That's technically something you could do, I guess. But, yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, Now, where should we go next, huh? We've got that one. I guess we could go to the underground. Yeah. Okay, let's go underground. Is there one down here, actually? Pretty sure there is. Hello. What do you think of that, huh? You like that? You like that? You like boots in the face, don't you? Yeah, you do. Thanks for the ammo, douche. Ah, uh, well, we got some TMP, which is fine. What else have we got here? Another herb. Yeah, I mean, you know, you never say no to a herb, do you? Ah, uh, it's locked. Oh, okay, so the only thing down here, actually, is some uh, ammo and some stuff, I guess. Okay. Yeah, probably worth it. I thought there was a sneaky little sample down here. Maybe not. Alright, let's go. Next sample. Evening. Can't remember what's in that case. I think it's ammo. Yeah. It ammo. Oh, look at that. Look at this gentleman over here. Come on, buddy. Come at me. Run. See what happens when you run. You're not going to run, are you? No. You don't really need that kneecap, though, do you? Not really. Let's be fair. You've got two for a reason, I suppose. Come on. Oh, your little hat saved you there. Your little hat saved you. 
God bless. Okay, so what do we have in here? We've got some more rifle ammo. I mean, sure, it'd be rude not to, I guess. We've got another herb. Might have to start combining some. Oh, dearie, dearie, dearie me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. Gonna have to start combining herbs. Which is unfortunate, but. It is what it is. Right, what have we got going on? We can pick up another sample here. We probably need to start using some of this up. Get another grenade, I guess. That's going to take up valuable space, though. Which we kind of don't really want to use. Let's take the sample. Okay, cool. Now I believe... Yep. More enemies. More enemies. But that's okay. Nice little opportunity to dump some ammo out. There we go. That should... Save a little bit of space. Oh yeah, big fella. Yeah, you're not as tough as you think you are, guys. I mean, you're plenty tough. If you get close enough. But from a distance, you're really not that nasty, to be honest. Now, oh dear. Uh, what do we, you know, we've got plenty of health, I suppose. Ah, uh, ten handgun, ten handgun bullets just isn't worth it, I don't think. We won't bother then. It's so painful for my, um, <laughs> my mental state to have to leave stuff behind, but it is what it is. We can't help sit more bullets there, we just have to remember that they're there. Hey guys. Now this is one reason why I would say in this particular game, or this particular mode, there's not a huge amount of point, to be honest, in trying to be sly with using the knife too much. Just because you're going to have too much ammo anyway. Oh, come on, JJ. Come on. You think it, you think you're so clever, don't you? I'm going to sit here sipping my coffee, waiting for you to open the door. Not so clever now, are you? Huh? Whose kill zone are you in now, my friend? Because I can assure you I'm not in yours. Oh, JJ, when will you learn? Right. How much space have we got? None. All right, then. Let's keep going. Now, we're going to get some rough encounters soon. Come on, boys. Oh, I actually didn't want him to explode. Kind of wanted to continue to burn off some of this ammo, but hey. It is what it is. We're going to have to leave that herb there as well. That's all right. Lock me in. They've locked the door. Those bastards. Utter bastards. Honestly. Right. So much TMP ammo. Uh, 25 TMP ammo worth? Yes. Alright, is there anything in... I think... Yeah, we've probably like missed some yellow herbs and stuff, but... Oh yeah, we need to push button. Doi. 
There you go. I thought there was more in here. You know, going fully automatic with the TMP. It really does feel good. It really does. Puts a smile on everybody's face. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we'll go for some hang-on bullets then. Grenade's not really worth it, to be honest. Hmm. We've got three anyway. Nah, we'll hold on to them. We've got 200 odd rounds for the machine gun. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yes, I bloody well will. Um, okay, well, we've got a grenade floating in that cabinet. So. Oh, hello. One way to use some ammo, I guess. Who's still moaning? Come on. There you go. What do you think of that, huh? Okay, I think we're clear. Another sample there. But of course, this is going to take up another inventory space. Now, I believe... I don't know if I'm thinking of the right game mode. I might not be. But for some reason, I I, I think you can actually leave uh, without collecting all of the samples. You get, like, rated. I can't remember. I might be wrong about that. Right, how are we doing? Two samples left. All right. Ah, yes. Can't grab you. But don't worry, we'll be back. Ah, oh, hello. You know, if we actually got hurt a little bit, we could use some health, but... Eh. It is what it is, I guess. We're just going to continue murdering our way through everything. Hey, more health. Just what we wanted. Any more? What did you drop for me? Huh? Uh, handgun bullets. Can't really pick up any more handgun bullets, to be honest. Uh, but we will we'll have you. And we will chuck you in there. Nope. In there. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. Kind of really want to reorganize my inventory as well, but we can't. Because this inventory is a massive pain to fiddle around with. It's locked. Oh, no. Hey, JJ. Now, this can be a little bit delicate. But we've got grenades, so hopefully, no, didn't quite get them. There we go. That's what we want. And again, that will work. Uh oh, that was bad. That's okay, as long as you can get them into a stun lock, you don't really have to worry. I've I can uh, refrain from wasting ammo. That would be even better. There we go. And we have enemies behind us. Because, of course, we do. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Uh, do we want to start picking up hang-on bullets? I mean, I guess... I guess we have handgun bullets, so... Well, we have space. And handgun bullets are better than... Nothing. Oh, you had to be a special one, didn't you? Everyone wants to be a special little snowflake. Where did that get you? 
Okay. Okay. That will work. Forward. Yes, yes. Could use a little bit more TMP here. Because this bit gets a little bit. That was a bad angle as well. Stuck behind that box. Um, can I? Oh. Actually can. Discard that. Because we really don't need it. Because we've got one spare space. Which is useless. But that takes up three. So by discarding that we now have um, space to hold two more of these. Which I will take. Let's get a little bit of order to this chaos. Uh, I'm not sure why I was holding on to that scope. Pretty much always get rid of that. Just waste space at the end of the day. Right, that'll do. And we've got two spare spaces left. Cool. All right, we can work with that. Now, I don't, yeah, don't have any herbs to mix that with. And you can't eat yellow herbs on their own, which is uh, frustrating. Yeah, they are sadly useless without a green to mix them with. But there we go. There's a green. So all is right with the world, I guess. Come on, sweet up. Now this area is rather painful. Not yet, but it will be. Right, you can stay there. Uh, what have we got going on? You can become one with you. Beautiful, isn't it? Watching nature just come together like that. We'll definitely have the TMP. Now, handgun bullets, I guess. We can always throw those away. Dude, I was nowhere near you. Seriously. Now, you can see there's an awful lot of ammo in this room. Yeah, that's foreboding. This is quite a intense fight through here. There's also a super herb ready to go right there. So what we're going to do, let's get this fight over and done with first. Let's sacrifice for the good of the Lord. Uh, I'd rather have the handgun ammo, I think. You know what? There we go. That'll do. That will do. Oop. Oop. Let's get rid of you guys. Any more? I know there is. That's the door that we can't go through. Ah, yeah, the button. I forgot the button. Here we go. This is where things get a little bit naughty. That's okay. We have the equipment. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? You big buffoon. I thought there was more enemies here. I really did. Huh. How about that? Really? Okay. I thought there was more here, but whatever. 
Um, here they come. I knew there was more. This fight was... This fight's reasonably big. Come on. There's no point in hiding. I was going to say, I know there's two big guys. There we go. God, those big guys. Honestly. If you have the firepower for them. They really aren't much to worry about. Um, So, we've got one left to get. That's us done here, really. Uh, do we? Hmm. Hmm. I guess. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six decent hills. Plus one. Um. Yeah. We'll do it. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, man. I didn't even know he was there. Son of a bitch. Hiding in the corner. I bet we can't go get him. Oh, we can go get him. That would have been awful to leave him there. Can you imagine? All alone. Nobody to play with. By himself. Yeah, couldn't do that. Couldn't do it. Couldn't leave him there. It's just not right. You, you just don't do things like that, you know? I mean, he's got some friends now. I don't know. I don't know how he turned into one shield guy turned into multiple uh, standard grunts. But hey, that's fine. Guess his uh, little hand was getting a little bit achy, you know. Hello, you. Oh, that actually didn't work at all. That's disappointing. All right, well, you know, I mean, it's Krauser, so. Now, Krauser's a little bit more of an arsehole here. He really is. But, you know, it's still just Krauser at the end of the day. Uh, luckily, we have an abundance of healing items. So, we can pretty much fill our boots. And that actually cleared a little bit of space for us too. Oh, there's, a, <laughs> there's actually a nice full hill for you there. Yeah, I did see an interesting technique uh, quite a while ago where you can just stun him with grenades and then hit him with a sniper rifle. And you just rinse and repeat that four times or something. Not that we could have done that anyway because we only had one grenade, but... Obviously a bit of a trick to the timing there, though. Anywho. Let's go. I love Wesker so much. Oh, he was so cool. Anyway, uh, that's a Simon Ada. Um, you know, quite a fun little run through. Um, you can you can complete that in like ten minutes, I believe. Maybe quicker than that if you just charge through, grabbing all of the stuff. But as I said before, I just don't enjoy that. That's not my sort of thing. I mean, if you enjoy that, that's fair enough. You know, each to their own and all that. But it's not my thing. Some nice swinging jazz here. Kind of like light-hearted. 
but uh, as we draw closer to an announcement, hopefully, for the Resident Evil 4 remake, I would like um, to see all these extra little bonusy bits kept in the remake, but I don't know if they actually will. Because we don't know if they're even going to fit into the remake with its um, darker, more horror-focused tone that we're hearing. Which, I'm, yeah, I'm up for it. One thing I do like about the remakes being so different to the originals is if you don't like the remakes, you know, they don't they don't take the originals away. You can still play them. What I would like to see, and I know I'm not alone with this, I'd like to see the original trilogy, as in the PS1 era games, brought forward and just put onto Steam. I mean, maybe up res them, you know, give them a 1080p coat of... Uh, I do not want to watch that again. Coat of paint. You know. Start a game with separate ways clear file. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you have to complete Chicago. Uh, Chicago. You have to complete um, Simon Ada to unlock the Chicago typewriter for separate ways. I remember. I forgot about that. Yeah, Chicago typewriter makes everything just pointless. So, anyway, I'd love to see the original trilogy. And, of course, the Black Sheep of the uh, franchise, you know, the unloved twisted sibling, Code Veronica, come to uh, modern platforms as well. I mean, yeah, you can play the uh, PlayStation 2 version of that game on um, PS4 and I guess PS5. And of course you can play it on Xbox as well, But it, uh, which is the 360 um, enhanced port, which some people prefer, some people don't, you know, fair enough. Um, but you can't play it on a PC. I don't know why that game never came to PC. It's just, it's really bizarre. And the original trilogy as well, um, outside of, I believe, the PlayStation 3 store, I don't think you can actually buy the original trilogy anymore on uh, modern platforms so i mean obviously you can find like a, a used copy um on ebay or you can download it or something but you can't actually legitimately um get it anymore it seems that capcom have just um overwritten the original uh director's cut with uh the remake which is fine like the remake is a good game but the original game still has its own merits. It's still worth playing. So, And Resident Evil 2 is an exceptional game. And so is Resident Evil 3. They're really fun games to play. Um, release them for like, I don't know, release them for 20 quid in a collection. You know, make sure they run at 60 frames. I mean, you know, we could we could go in and say that it'd be nice if they had some kind of built-in randomizer and all that stuff. Get really, you know get our wish lists out but even if they just brought the package out for you know a budget price would i pay full game price for the original trilogy i think i would i th yeah i who am i kidding of course i would would they be worth it no <laughs> not really but you know do something with them capcom jesus Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now because I've got other games to record, but I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed this. This finally brings Resident Evil 4 to a close. I can colour it in green in Excel, and uh, we can move on to the next project. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.